So, do you want to learn a programming language and become really good at that? In fact, master that programming language? Then this video is for you guys. Hello friends, I'm Rohit. I'm, a, I'm working as a technical project manager I'm and uh, an ex-senior software engineer. I worked with, uh, based currently in Tokyo, Japan. I have work experience working with engineers from Google, Amazon and Rakuten. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you one phenomenal website which you can use to practice literally any programming language, master that programming language and I'm going to be show you, I'm going to be showing you how to use that website, okay? So before, without any much delay, let's begin, okay? So the website is called codewars.com, my dear friends. So this is one of the best websites. I've personally used this to master programming languages uh, like Java. So I'll be sharing you uh, how to use that. So basically this website has got like more than 1000 like uh, as you can see on the screen like 1726 questions so katas are nothing but the questions okay so you when you sign into this website it will ask you for what programming language you want to practice so literally there are like hundreds of programming languages that you can practice so i'll show you in just a minute so see for here example so you can master and practice in all these variety of programming languages so all programming languages you can think of are covered in here like c then c plus plus we have like uh, java here we have javascript here we have python here we have r we have ruby so literally every programming language so only these three four languages are not covered so like css chapel like these are unknown languages right so you can practice literally any programming language and how do you do that so once you select whatever programming language that you want to master then you go to this section called kata okay so these katas are nothing but questions okay katas are questions okay so and what is this difficulty level so uh, the difficulty level is measured in q so q is nothing but like kind of uh, points we can say but the uh, it's reverse kind of 8q is the simplest one 1q is the most difficult question so you can select the level of difficulty that you want to practice so you can initially begin with 8q level of questions so if you select then you uh, you can see all like there are more than 219 questions related to 8q and uh, you can see so for example uh, you, if you open this question so how do you actually do the programming in this question so let me show you the ui of this one so this is the name of the program like uh, the problem and then you can see the problem statement here what you are supposed to do and what these are the tags like this is the fundamental programming question and then you have to uh, train that so when you click on this train you can see the actual ui so this is a problem statement and based on that you have to program it here in this ui you have to provide the solution and there are these sample test cases when you are done with any programming question you just test it and uh, you can test all the test cases and whatever inbuilt test cases that question has it will be done and then you can attempt that question okay you can attempt to check whether uh, that pro uh, if your solution is correct or not okay and say for example you want to skip this question you can skip this kata and it will automatically give you a random next question based on the level of difficulty that you have chosen but it just in case if you want to know the solutions you can just unlock the solution and you can also discuss with other people like if there is any issue or you know you are stuck at something you can discuss it here and the community might respond okay to you so yes if you unlock the solutions you won't get the marks for any of these questions okay so see uh, they have provided the solutions the best uh, thing about this website is for every problem they have given the solutions okay even if you are not able to solve any question you can see the solution you can unlock that solution and there are like hundreds of solutions for a single problem and the, they are categorized into like best practices so people like for example this particular guy has answered this question in like a single line okay so this is kind of the best practice you can also see uh, like some people have used tricks to solve the questions right so clever and then there are filters like newest newest sub uh, submissions that people have made okay and then also you can see what are the discourse so discourse is nothing but the discussions that are happening okay are related to this question okay and you can also choose to uh, filter the questions and solutions based on the language okay so now all the languages and like all the solutions will be provided in java basically okay so it will be like that and then once you are done so the another beautiful uh, thing about this uh, uh, website is there are like tags okay so for example if you are learning java and you want to like kind of you know uh, understand oops concepts even better or, uh, or say for example you want to master arrays or you know you want to master ar uh, data types you can just click on this tags and there are like more than like you know 733 katas uh, listed down under this tag so you can choose randomly any question and you can start practicing this okay so why this website is really good my dear friends first of all it has got support for every programming language second they have a very good list of questions okay 
and at the in the one in one place you get to practice so many of questions you might have observed like you might have studied from many different resources or websites or tutorials you have taken the theoretical knowledge but you don't know how to actually practice the questions from uh, uh, related to those programming languages right so this is the best website you can come and another advantage is that when you try to solve these kind of questions your logic gets built your problem solving skills get built okay and you are trying to test your solutions against a number of test cases and you can also check out other people's solutions how brave like how brilliantly they have solved that question so you get different ideas so you know your problem solving attitude and your intuition gets better okay and another advantage is when you want to do competitive programming say for example from websites like lead code code shape or code forces the ui and the pattern of questions is kind of the same only the concepts and difficulty level is different okay there mostly the questions are based around like data structures and algorithms but the ui like you have to uh, there is a problem statement given then you have to submit the solutions you have to test your solution uh, for cert certain number of test cases and then you are given points out of like say 10 or 5 based on the number of test cases that you pass so the pattern is same so what is the advantage when you try to learn and practice uh, programming language itself using such a platform it will you will not find difficulty to you know enter into the competitive programming world okay so that is the advantage and you know guys there are so many tutorials available so many resources available on the internet you can learn from them maybe there are some websites where you can practice but this is one of the best websites i highly recommend you guys to try this out practice these questions and within 30 days or less if you practice like on an average every day five to seven questions within 30 days or less you will you will become master of that programming language and you'll gain so much of confidence in your programming abilities like you know you will feel really good and confident about your you know path towards your placement preparation and getting that dream placement that and that's what we are here for so this channel is for me to give you tips tricks methods and uh, help you towards uh, preparation for your dream placement so if you really uh, like the resource that I shared after uh, I will share the link in the description if you really like the video please uh, like the video and uh, you know uh, I'll be sharing a lot of tips every day almost every day so please subscribe to this channel if you want to get latest updates on placement preparation and opportunities then please do subscribe and in the comments please share what programming language you want to learn and master okay so that's it for today my dear friends see you again uh, very soon with the next interesting video bye bye until then